Geometry Lesson 1 3 Video Review. Today we're going to take a look at two problems. The first of which is finding the maximum area for a given perimeter of a rectangle. We start with the perimeter of 42. We write down the perimeter formula P is equal to 2L plus 2W, which we know is equal to 42. We want to find the distance halfway around the rectangle because the length times the width will give us the area and that would be 21. I found that by dividing the formula by 2. Now we set up a table using lengths and widths to find the area. The length and the width must add up to 21. The first pair I try is 20 and 1. When I multiply them together, we get 20. The next pair is 19 and 2. Add them together to get 21. Multiply them to get 38. A third pair I try is 18 and 3. Multiply them together to get 54. I try 17 and 4 get 68 and since we've done several of these in class and now outside of class we should realize now the closer we get to a square the greater the area gets the pair closest together is 11 and 10 giving us an area of 11 and 10 so the length is 10 the width is 11 and that gives us an area of 110 Make sure we put our units, distance being measured in meters, and area in meters squared or square units. The max area of a rectangle is a square or the closest measurements that will give you a square. Now we move into finding the area of an irregular shaped object, also the perimeter. First I break it down into three separate areas, rectangle 1, rectangle 2, and rectangle 3, and I'm going to find the area of rectangle 1. I know the length of that side is 8. I must take 12 and add it to 6. That gives me 18 and I subtract away that 18 from 26 and I get 8. So I find the area of rectangle 1 by going 13 times 8. Which gives an area of 104. Area number two, I must find the length of one of the sides that I've drawn in in red. That's a pretty easy task. That is six. I get the six by taking 13 and subtracting away from seven, or subtracting away seven. That 13, the whole side, minus that length, part of the side, seven, to get six, the other parts and the area is given then by 6 times 6 which gives us 36. Finally, I need to find the length of the right hand side of this irregular shaped object. The length of that side is 15. We find that by adding the length 9 to that length which we should be able to figure out is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15 giving us the length of that right side. Then I find the area of side 3, or rectangle 3, by multiplying together 12 and 15. That yields an area of 180. Now I find the area of that irregular shaped object by adding those three separate areas together. Giving a total area of 320, or the area taught, area sub-taught, or area sub-total of 320. Now we need to find the perimeter. Perimeter of an irregular shaped object is found by just adding the lengths of the, all the sides up. See here I write out the lengths. Even though this is a process you can do on a calculator, 
You should get in the habit of writing down what you do on the calculator so that anybody looking at your work understands what you did to achieve the answers you did. So we need to add 13 and 8 and 6 and 9 and 12 and 15 and 26 together. When we add all those numbers together, we find the perimeter is 96. So there is a review of the problems from lesson 1-3. I'd like to thank the numbers pi and the number 2, the letters A, L, W, and P, the perimeter formula, the area formula, and the word maximum and area and perimeter.